Now, in today's video, I'm going to share with you five reasons why narcissists are stuck in a cycle. So, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Now, number one is that narcissists need control. Narcissists thrive on control and power over others. You will see where the narcissistic abuse cycle allows them to exert control by alternating between periods of idealization, where they manipulate and charm. This is a love bomb. And you will see where they will alternate between periods of idealization or love bombing and devaluation. And the devaluation phase is where they exert dominance to create dependency. And again, the reason why they do this is because it works until it doesn't. So if these manipulation tactics don't work on you, then the narcissist will run off to find someone else that they can manipulate. So reason number two why narcissists are stuck in this cycle is because it gets them narcissistic supply. The cycle enables narcissists to maintain a steady supply of admiration, attention, and validation. And this is what we call narcissistic supply. During the idealization phase, narcissists receive praise and admiration. And during the devaluation phase, for example, they'll still receive attention, but they'll do this through drama and conflict. So if you were entangled in a relationship with a pathological narcissist, then you know that they create chaos out of nowhere. They create drama out of nowhere. And this is because this is how they get their needs met. So as you go through this lesson, I want to remind you not to project your consciousness onto a pathological narcissist. And what I mean by this is that narcissists do not think like you. So do not assume that they think like you do not project your consciousness onto them. They do not think like you and you don't think like a narcissist. If you thought like a narcissist, then you would be going through the narcissistic abuse cycle and you would be idealizing people and devaluing and discard Hoover and again and again and again. So know that we are talking about dysfunctional behavior because we are talking about pathological narcissism. And a pathology is a study of a disease or a disorder. And because we are talking about pathological narcissists, then you are dealing with someone with severe psychological problems because their entire personality is disordered. So they have mental problems, problems regulating their emotions and problems also at the will power level because they're very impulsive and compulsive because they have an underdeveloped will. So again, the entire psyche is disordered. The entire personality is disordered. They are lost souls. They are dark souls. All right, let's go ahead and go to number three. So you'll see where narcissists are stuck in a cycle again, and you'll see where they'll use emotional manipulation to maintain this cycle. So the cycle serves as a tool for emotional manipulation. Idealization draws the victim in emotionally, making them feel valued and special, while devaluation keeps them emotionally invested and striving to regain the narcissist's approval and affection. So understand that if you are dealing with a narcissist, then this individual needs you to feed their ego. It is a need. Narcissists are energy vampires. So they'll use various emotional manipulation tactics such as blackmail, the double bind, triangulation, etc., to pull energy from you because, again, this is how they feed. And this is how narcissists feed because they are based in their ego, they are not based in spirit. They abandon their spirit, they abandon their true selves in childhood for an ego, that which we call the mask or the false self. And the false self is what you're interacting with in that relationship with the narcissist. And this is why you truly could not get to know them. Now, let's get to number four. You'll see where narcissists will go in a cycle to avoid abandonment. 
This is because narcissists have deep-seated fears of abandonment and rejection, often stemming from unresolved childhood wounds. The cycle allows them to maintain relationships without risking abandonment as victims often stay due to intermittent reinforcement or hope for a return to the idealization phase. And number five, the final reason why you'll see where narcissists again are going through these cycles is because they are stuck in an ego defense mechanism. The cycle reinforces the narcissist's ego defenses and shields them from feelings of inadequacy or vulnerability. So by projecting their flaws onto others during the devaluation phase and receiving validation during the idealization phase, narcissists protect their fragile self-esteem. And people understand that when we are talking about pathological narcissists, pathological narcissists have pathologically low self-esteem. So it is important that you understand that narcissists do not have true confidence. What they have is grandiosity, a false self, a mask, a pretense to cover their deep-seated insecurities and shame. So understand that narcissists have pathologically low self-esteem, so that is self-esteem so low that they would probably have to look up to see it, meaning that it is little to non-existent. Their grandiosity, the mask that they wear is to hide this deep-seated inner shame that they have and understand that narcissists are not working on themselves, they're working on their false self, the mask that they wear to deceive. And understand that because you are dealing with a grandiose individual, then these individuals do not see a problem with their behavior. Hence, they are not going to change. They're based in shame and unable to move past their pride. And since they cannot move past their pride, then pride comes before the fall and they fall right back down to shame. And just like the title of this video, people, narcissists are stuck in a cycle. And they have been stuck in this cycle since their developmental years, long before you came into the picture. And this is why they are such shallow individuals. This is because they have not been working on themselves. They don't have much depth. This is because they have been working on their false self, the mask that they were to deceive others. And the mask that they wear to deceive others would be very similar to me coming on here pretending that I'm Spider-Man or Wonder Woman or some other superhero. It's fake. It's a mask. That is what you're dealing with, with a pathological narcissist. Someone with pathologically low self-esteem, deep-seated insecurities, and again, they're running from their shame. They're not dealing with the things that are causing them shame. And if you don't deal with the problem, well, it doesn't get resolved. So narcissists run from their shame, they get to pride, pride comes before the fall and they fall right back down to shame. And with that said, I want you to truly understand people that there is nothing that you could have done differently to make the relationship better. You cannot have healthy, blossoming, blooming relationships with pathological narcissists because pathological narcissists only engage in abuse cycles. There is no love. There is no love to go back to. Love does not exist. Love is the opposite of abuse. Narcissists do not have love to give. They exist in victim-abuser consciousness. They are based in shame and they're unable to move past their pride. And this is why you'll see where statistics will tell you that it takes on average seven times for a victim to become a victim. Tour. This is because oftentimes we're going back into these relationships trying to solve a problem, but there is nothing to solve. You're not in a mutually beneficial relationship. You are in an abuse cycle. And this is why it is of the utmost importance that you get the courage to walk away and stay away. It is important that you get the courage to to heal. It is important that you get to the fourth dimension or higher because when you're in the fourth dimension or higher, that is where you will be communing with healthy, wholesome individuals that are actually working on themselves. 
you're spiritually awakening just like you are. Because if you are dealing with a pathological narcissist, you are dealing with the walking dead. Narcissists checked out a very long time ago, most of them, somewhere between the ages of roughly 5 and 12 years old. What you have been interacting with was a false self. The false self is what you met on day zero, but that true, cold, callous, reptilian, unempathetic individual is what you saw in the devalue and the discard. That is who the narcissist is today. A very vengeful, hateful, spiteful, envious person. And again, they'll use that mask to cover it because what they really are covering is all that darkness that they have deep inside of them. So again, understand that narcissists operate on a cycle. It is pathological. After 1 p.m. is 2 p.m. After 2 p.m. is 3 p.m. Narcissists, people, are on a cycle. And if you sit and observe them and don't get too attached to what they are saying, you will see that you are interacting with the insane. Because only the insane go around in circles. The living can change their behavior. And that really is the quick message for today, kind folks. If you appreciate the content, ensure that you are liking these videos. Ensure that you are subscribed for more empowering content. If you have any questions or feedback, go ahead and leave that in the comment section. Sheikah's a name. Thanks for your support and I'll see you in the next video.